Thank you very much. Poe must I am, Kelly Diam. Christ say bye, welcome to the bay. I have got to confess, when I came here I thought it was called Misfits, not Mischiefs. But now I've had a look around and I think I know why. That's a joke for me. Yeah. I'm only going to speak for a few minutes because basically I do believe that I'm talking to the converted. I'll give you a list of some of the topics that will be covered here tonight by uh, speakers that go into things more in depth than I will. Things like the cost of the royal family, not just the cost of this celebration and what the government has spent on um, you know, getting this big jamboree that we've uh, all had to put up with last, well, forever it feels like, uh, and this has culminated this big party. You know, they've rolled the Olympics and this into one. Uh, we're not the only ones that think that. You ask your neighbours over the border, they believe that. But the cost in general, you know, obviously we prefer to have, you know, a few hundred more nurses and doctors than, uh, you know, those that hang on. And anyone that says, it's alright, they bring in loads of money from tourism. They might bring a fraction of a few pounds in with tourism. But if they weren't there, would those tourists still come? Yeah. Of course they would. People go to see the pyramids. Yeah, when was the last time you saw the mummy walk around? Yeah. Right, the militarisation. Uh, not only, well, people are going to talk about their recruitment in schools, but has anyone ever asked why it is that the soldiers of Great Britain swear an allegiance to the head of state? They swear allegiance to the Queen or to the King? They don't swear allegiance to the country or to the people. That's what they should do. You know? Ask the soldiers that. Sorry, ask the soldiers that. Propaganda. Just after Princess Di died, I think the royal family was almost on his ass. It was uh, at its lowest ebb. Your royalists were even thinking, ooh, we've had enough of this royal family. But it just wasn't enough to give that death knell. But the propaganda machine has been in full swing. We can't change that. We haven't really got our own propaganda machine. You've got to rely on word of mouth. Yeah, You've got to tell everyone that you know, everything that you know about what you know. And that's the only way. Yeah, we've got to educate our youth to see past the propaganda of these, this most privileged family on earth. Yeah? So the only way you can beat the propaganda war is to do it from the bottom up. The royal estates and the crown estates, like I said, they're wealth, they're massive wealth, but they own the crown estates. So when they're throwing these windmills up, or wind farms up everywhere, and then they're making money off them. Yeah, so it's, it's a win-win situation for them. You know? It's something like a tiny percentage of the people of uh, you know, the country, I've, I say that as Britain, own oh, all of Britain. It's wrong. The biggest point to me, as a Cumro, as a Welshman, is simply they're not mine. They don't represent me. My royal family is dead in the dirt. I wouldn't like to see. Yeah, some some Welshmen want to see. Uh, again, some Welshmen would like to see you know, a re rehash of our own royal family. Oh, Fine, we can no. debate that if we have independence. It's not on the table at the moment. Yeah, my royal family is. Dead and done. Now, here's the most important part. The most important part of the reason I've come down here today is to rub shoulders with like minded people. But again, I'm preaching to the converted. You already agree with most of what I've said. If you don't, tell me after. Uh, the important reason that we're here is that the special branch operatives that are sitting amongst you can shuffle uncomfortably and report back to their masters. Those little buggers are still here. Come and read. Come and read.